growing up. Gah! I don't wanna! But then I do. The dichotomy. It kills me. One moment I'm reading Scientific American Mind and reposting TED Talks on Facebook, the next I'm eating Twinkies for breakfast. Fortunately, this dichotomy works in my favor in one situation and one situation only. Throwing a dinner party. You're an unadult adult, so it's time to shop like one. Like you're completely broke, but responsible and wise all at the same time. Grab your laptop, tablet, or new Ultrabook convertible and find deals for your local supermarket cheapskate. Purchase things that sound expensive, whether or not they are. Tuscan olive oil. Sounds classy. No one needs to know that Tuscany is Italy's New Jersey. Now it's time to cook. But if you're like me and you only know how to microwave frozen foods, just buy it frozen. Or if you're feeling ambitious, just try to cook. Search for the recipe on a site like Epicurious and follow it to the letter. Keep it in front of you while you cook. One added teaspoon of salt and the shame of dinner party failure will rear its ugly, over-seasoned head. Next stop, add a touch of class. Design schmancy menus that make your food sound fancy. Frozen chicken and cheap tomato sauce should become Pollo Toscana a la Terran with a southern-infused Pomodoro reduction. Reduction's just a fancy way to say you cooked it, even if you didn't cook it. And don't forget mature meal presentation. Never gets old. It's like food art, or as I like to call it, fuck, never mind. To classy up your cheap wine, all you need is a spiffy looking decanter, and boom, you're a sommelier. Now rename your wine, whatever you want. 2005 Chat Nouveau. Classic, sensuous, mature. Next up, use paperless posts for imitations, cause it's oh so classy. Only invite friends who you know will bring snacks and expensive wine. This will ensure that you don't spend too much time making appetizers when you could have been watching season one of Girls on HBO Go. These freebies will surely add up to a full snacking course. When you host a dinner party, you have to make a playlist suitable for adult conversations. This means one of two options, obscure Brazilian samba on Spotify, or Adele, obviously. No one ever said growing up was easy. So good luck. Now you'll be prepared to host a party that will be both fancy and fancy. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure no one walks out with your favorite electronics. Stay away from my XPS Ultrabook convertible. This Dell is mine, all mine. Classic, tenuous, mature. There, all safe. Do you guys have any other suggestions for making the perfect unadult adult dinner party? Leave a comment, yo, or just send me a photo and make me jealous. No, don't do that. It, it'll make me sad and cry and I'll weep all over my yellow t-shirt.